This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic uh, that is uh, uh, what do you call uh, quality notifications. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what are quality notifications. Okay, who are you? What are the types of quality notifications we have? Okay, and quality notifications process flow. Okay, and then structure of the quality notifications, how the structure of a quality notification looks like. Then we will see catalogs and catalog profiles in the quality notification processing. Then we will be creating the quality notification. Okay, then processing the quality notification. Then we will understand the defect recording, defect recording. Okay and creation of quality notification during defect recording how to create notification during defect recording automatically you just give me one minute Okay, so these are the uh, what do you call uh, topics we'll be covering in the quality notification. Okay, so basically, uh, quality notification uh, the quality notifications contain functions for capturing and processing different types of problems or defects which are identified during inspection. So, so basically, quality notification uh, it's basically for kappa to capture the kappa corrective action and preventive action okay so when you do quality inspection if there is any problem if the, if the material got rejected then to capture the then to capture the uh, uh, what is a problem capture the problem information and what corrective actions you are going to take okay. what preventive action you are going to take to capture all these things they will use quality notifications okay so sap qm quality notifications are utilized to analyze the recorded defects and perform root cause analysis of these problems okay so basically in the in the notifications you will record the defects analyze the record uh, defect why the defect recording why the defects happen why the core material got filled and to perform root cause analysis of these problems Okay, so basically the, the following quality notification types are predefined in the system. Customer complaint, complaint against vendor, okay, and internal problem report. So we have three types. One is customer, uh, which comes from HD, okay, and complaint against vendor. This is in MM. You, you purchase a metal from the supplier, you inspect it, and if, the if there is a problem, then you will raise a notification okay and another one is internal problem report this is production notification uh, your company produces a product uh, can be a semi-finished or finished product so when you inspect that there is some issue then you will raise a internal problem report these are the normal three types okay in addition to the standard notification types you can also define your own user specific notification okay you can create your own notification type also okay so this is the one so let's say you sell a product to the customer okay then uh, customer gives a complaint to handle that complaint you create a customer notification and vendor so you purchase a metal from a vendor you inspect it there is some problem then you raise a complaint against a vendor this is one notification Another one is your company produces a product, product, and then they will produce a product, you inspect it, and then there is some problem, then you raise internal problem notification. Normally, these are the three types. Okay. 
so basically uh, these notifications are used for the continuous improvement so whenever you have an issue you have a problem in the notification you you describe the problem you describe the problem okay and then you using that problem you uh, they do the analysis why the problem has occurred then they will enter that analysis details in the system what is it what is a problem and what is a cause and then they'll enter the kappa information corrective action and preventive action so what we are going to do with that particular talk okay what corrective action you are going to take and what preventive action you are going to take so that that problem will not occur again okay and after that whether those actions are implemented or not what are the tasks implemented all these are documented in the quality notification okay so this is this is what they will enter in the notification okay so basically uh, as i told earlier uh, they first create a notification either based on the external reasons either from vendor or customer and also from your uh, what do you call it, or from production activity okay then you analyze the problem what immediate tasks immediate activities you are going to do that you will document and also at the same time finally after that you analyze the defect why the defect has happened and then what actions what corrective actions and preventive actions you are going to take all these things are captured in the notification okay so this is one example like let's say one customer complains about a product okay then what you do you receive the complaint you create a notification so in the notification you will enter the identification details what is a material what is a plant okay what is a batch number you describe the problem okay then what is a defect okay and then what is the cause for this defect and then what tasks and activities you are going to do all these are entered in the notification and the notification is saved and the concern department will will quality assurance department will coordinate and enter all this information in the notification okay so before going into the system and creating the notifications so basically we need to understand few terms notification category notification origin and notification type so notification category okay uh, basically all the quality all the notifications created in the queue they belong to the category zero two they belong to the category zero two this is standard acp you cannot change it okay now the uh, after that notification origin because of which origin it, they are getting generated either because of customer complaint or due to complaint you are going to do on vendor or inter okay and then notification type so in that based on the notification origin you can have different different notification types okay so this is the one this is our so this you cannot change it okay and you can create your own notification type if if you want which we will see when we go to the configuration okay so now uh, the structure of the notification looks like so do you create a notification then you will maintain the immediate tasks and you will enter the partner information and item details what are the reason what are the problems okay and then activities you will capture and what tasks you are going to perform for each item activities tasks and what are the causes all these are entered in the notification in the quality notification okay so quality notifications can be created manually manually or even automatically both both are possible so basically quality notifications okay quality notifications are created notifications can be created one manual one is manual okay using the transaction qm01 okay and another one is automatic 
automatic automatic this is during defects recording during defect recording we will see both recording during defect recording okay we will we will cover both first we will start with the manual okay first we will start with the manual okay so let's create a notification okay so let me take a material which is having some stock just give me one minute okay let us take this one 3453 let me check whether it does it have any stock you need a batch number 3453 3453 okay so you have this material this is a stock this is a batch number okay so let's say this is having some issue then we will create a quality notification so i'll open one more session okay whether it is posted directly just just give me one minute okay this is 561 now Okay, wait, let's take another material. Let us take three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two. Three, four, five, two, not batch managed. Huh? Okay. Three, four, five, four. Okay, this is in quality inspection. Okay, just give me one. This is five sixty three. Oh. This one. Okay, this is one at one. So, do we have the PO here? This is. Let's use this. One. Okay. So now i'll go to one more session so now manual creation so i'll show you the path go to logistics okay go to quality management okay go to here you see quality notification open this create qm01 creation is qm01 change qm02 and display qm03 those are the t codes okay click on create double click create notification initial screen now notification type what type of notification it is that's what